Right, Sean, so now that you showed us how you do the survey, now could you please show me how to actually drive the boat? Okay, the, the, the first thing to remember is that we work in the real world here, so you have to keep a good lookout all the time. But at the same time, you're looking at the survey equipment. So on this screen here, you can see the little green boat there, and it's heading in this direction. So what we want to do is bring the boat around here and pick up this line and follow it back into Cork Harbour. Okay. okay. So to do that, it's quite simple. At the moment, she's driving on a steady course with the autopilot. Okay, she's on 146 degrees, and she's, she'll maintain that until we change it. Now, I can just slowly turn her using the autopilot by adjusting the course, okay? And you can feel there, there's just a, a few the clicks. Yeah, and, but you can feel the, the actual button here, it just clicks for every degree. Okay. You can do it by feel. So every click is one degree? It's just changing by one degree, yeah. Uh -huh. But that can be quite slow to do. Okay. Right? As you can see there, we haven't moved very far around. So what we do is we put it into standby mode. Okay, so we just take it off of autopilot. Okay, now that, that's not doing anything. She's just driving on her own. We have here uh, an indicator of the rudder, in which direction the rudder is. So if you press the joystick over to to starboard, okay, so okay. I'm but you yeah, now stop and leave it in the middle because now you'll see the rudder. Sorry, just go again. So go to starboard. Starboard means right in marine language. That's correct. Yeah. So now your rudder is two stops over. And if you go up to four. four what that means? That's four stops, and then just leave it now, okay? And you'll see she's starting to turn. You can see it in the real world, and you can see it up mm -hmm. here. <coughs> Sean, so could you please tell me how do you speed up the boat? Okay, so the, the throttles are electronic throttles, so what you do here is you just push the two sticks simultaneously together by holding both handles. And forward. You push it forward, you can hear the engine increase. Can I try? Yeah. Not too fast because, okay, slow down now because we have the equipment in the water, uh -huh. so we can only do 10 knots with the survey equipment. Okay, down. and what is our speed now? Over our 10 speed knots. now is 8 knots. Uh -huh. So when we need to go fast back to shore, we have to stop the boat, raise the, the survey equipment, mm -hmm. and then we can go full speed 20 okay. knots. So the actual multi beam transducers they can be raised up? They are retracted. With and hydraulics, they, yeah. And they hang up in the air above they, the water. They huh? sit in between the hulls, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, so this little device is just for turning right and left. Yes. So if you if you bring it over to starboard again, we we'll start turning more to the right. Yeah. So you, you right is starboard, and then you can monitor it either on the screen or you can actually see outside that it's uh, turning. And what about obstacles around us, for example, if there's other boats in the area, uh, do we have only visual control over them, or do you have some sort of radar as well, like which sees the boats? No, what we have is a, a thing called AIS, which is an automatic identification system, and we program a little unit here, which sends a VHF signal with our position, and they have the same system on their boat, and it sends their position to us. And it's displayed on the navigation screen. We do have radar, but we only really use that in you know, poor light or at night because uh, it does use up quite a lot of energy. But this system is, on, is only for the big vessels, like if somebody is driving a reef, it's not going to be reflected. It won't show up on this, no. So that's why I say the most important thing is always keep a good lookout. You know, the real world is there, that's a virtual world. And what about the steering wheel? Like, would it do the same job as this little knob? Like, uh, okay, if I, if I just uh, make sure that that is in standby. Okay, now if you turn the wheel. To which size should I turn? Uh, maybe to, to port. To port. So I'm turning and you've got to, to turn it quite a lot. And you'll see the indicator here has moved, yeah? And now we're moving. All right, the boat is actually moving. Yeah, yeah so you can steer like that. And some people actually prefer that we have one skipper that only drives with the wheel. But after 12 hours of steering with the wheel, you soon want to remember that this is here. <laughs> <laughs> or the autopilot here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But in an emergency, your first instinct might be just to use the wheel. Okay. So if a ship is coming at you or something. So just to conclude, there's three ways of steering the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, the, auto -pilot. the autopilot or the manual joystick and the emergency steering. Okay. There's a fourth way, and that's to use the engines, but we only do that very slow in the harbor. Yeah. When you need to maneuver in a small space. Yeah, and then we can make the boat crab to the side or spin on itself. Mm -hmm.